Hello again, everyone. We're back. It's me, the Elementalist, and this is episode four of the Survival Let's Play series. I'm having so much fun with this, having an absolute blast creating content again for a change. And it was in the last episode that we built that magnificent beauty over there. It is our harbor warehouse, our storage facility. And I was just up on that tree, taking a little screenshot for the thumbnail of the previous episode. And I thought, you know what? That is a perfect place to start this episode off. Because this is the next one. And in between episodes, I've done a little bit. I haven't changed anything to the building. I haven't modified it in any way, except for putting in six furnaces over there and some, you know, workstations. Crafting benches, yep, they're in. But most importantly, I've moved all of my items over. I have started to label things. Here and there, I've categorized these sections, and there is so much empty space. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to fill this, which makes me oh so happy. Yes, yes it does. I love it. This place is massive, and it's going to do wonderfully. However, for this episode, we have very important plans. We need to come over here, we need to come and grab five pieces of iron when you come to this crafting table and we're going to make ourselves a hat. Yes, yes my friends, it is time for the hat. The helmet, it is the next logical step. It has happened. Now, we get on to why you are all here, regardless of my hat, my beautiful, beautiful hat. Nope, it is my levels. You see, I have 50 of them. That is an extraordinary amount for someone who has done zero enchanting, who has no XP farm whatsoever. So today, we're going to put those levels to use. No, we're not building an XP farm. I have not found a mob spawner anywhere. That is a little disheartening. I'm not gonna lie, it makes me sad. I love early game XP farms with mob spawners, but Alas, I don't think it is to be. However, we do have 50 levels. 50 levels will go a very long way to enchanting early game. Hopefully we can get that fortune pickaxe. Yes, I have not collected any diamonds. Nope, none except for this one. Accidentally, I broke it. Didn't know what I was doing, didn't look at what I was doing, I was just zoning out and mining. Now it labels our valuables chest. So, I want to start collecting those diamonds. I think I'll be willing to break three diamonds without fortune. The rest I want to keep, I want to save, I want to have fortune. Yes, fortune, I want to have fortune before I collect any more diamonds. Yes. So. To do that we need an enchanting area. That my friends is what we are going to do today. We are going to build a space, a building, a structure to house our enchanting area. Because if you remember in the first episode, I want to build a structure that houses every purpose, every function in this world for us. And today I think this hill is the perfect place. We are right over there, yes, right there, on top of this hill. It's a little janky, but it is a hill and it will work. And on top of it, we will build our fourth structure of this world. We have our starter house. We have our logging area over there and we have our storage facility here. We will do enchanting, yes. Before I can do any building, I need to do some cleanup. I need to chop down some trees. Not all of the trees, I think. I don't think these bottom trees need to go. But these top ones, they need to go. I need to be able to see what I'm doing. And then this, yes, this janky hill, I need to fix it. That's not gonna work for me. I need a larger surface to do what I have in mind. And it is for this terraforming project that I have some materials gathered. Very basic. We're just going to make the hill nice and smooth and round it out and make it much easier to get onto this hill from this side of the map, I think. 
So, my friends, I think that is a perfect situation to give you all a quick, brief little time lapse. So, roll the cameras. There we go! Cleared out that hill quite nicely. And if we go around to the other side, or to the top of it at least, you can see that I've also sculpted it very nicely over here. And it flows kind of naturally down this way. I might just have to get rid of some more of these trees. And I'll probably end up filling in this lake, or at least the section of the lake because I want a road to come through here and around over here and up leading into what we're going to be building here and what we are going to be building there yes we're back here is a tower I think a nice big sturdy stone tower one that might defy the laws of physics a little bit we'll get there um, is perfect to represent a space of magic. So we're building a wizard's tower on this island, on this hill today. It is going to loom above the rest of our buildings and it will probably be something that we will be able to see from the majority of this area. Wherever we stand, I think it will be perfect to reach into the sky of our skyline. We'll need some materials to do this though, and I think it might be one of the few buildings that I have planned that is going to be primarily stone based. There will be wood, but unlike this building where wood is the main block of choice, various woods, and then we use stone as an accent, I think we'll swap it around and we'll use stone as the main building block and then wood as an accent on that one. So what we're gonna need, I'm gonna stick to the same kinda, you know, what's it called? Texture variation, that's the one. Same texture variation technique that I've been using all along. And I think for that I'm going to grab about five stacks of each of these, but I do have a small problem here. I only have two full stacks of andesite, and andesite goes very well, I think, with the stone brick and the smooth stone. Now I could go back down into my mines and harvest up all the andesite I see, but I have a bunch of diorite, and I absolutely hate diorite. I've tried to use diorite tons of times in the future, or in the past, pardon my slip. I've tried to use it tons of times in the past and I've just never been able to make it work. However, it has a use. It has a very, very, very valuable use in that you can actually craft andesite out of it. If you combine diorite and cobblestone in your crafting bench, you get andesite. And that makes diorite probably one of the most valuable blocks in this game because andesite is definitely one of my favorites. I love it. So, I have some blocks, some very basic starter blocks, something to build up this tower with. And I think to get the basic shape of it down, it's going to be very simple. It's going to be cylindrical and step in and up and step in and up a couple of times and it's going to have a roof. I think I can give you guys a second time lapse for this video while I do that. Now that 
is the basic shape of a wonderful tower. I definitely like it. It does loom over the rest from here at least. We'll have to look on from further to really see how much bigger it is because, you know, proportions and perspective. All those fun things, but we have a small problem with this tower in that we can't get into it just yet. So I definitely need to solve that problem. And I think we're going to have whatever future road I build here lead directly into a main front entrance right here. Yes, I like that idea very much. So for that, we have some materials. I'm going to build a little porch, but I have a decision to make. I now need to plan. I've grabbed a bunch of materials, things that I would like to use, but I now need to decide which would I use where? And I'm looking at this one, our storage facility for inspiration. I really, really like how this contrasts with this. So the spruce log color contrasts with the stone gray. I like that more than I like the stone gray with the stripped spruce. Okay. So I'm thinking that I want to use this kind of color in the exterior as accents. This color is the same as the dark oak roof, the planks that we used here. That means that we're going to be using dark oak for the roof. So the dark oak we will use as exterior accents and for our roof when we finally get around to it. Therefore, so that we don't use the same wood all over I'm going to use spruce as our floor material, I'm thinking. Yeah, I think I like that idea. So we're going to need to grab some of these. And an idea that I have for building this porch. I think we want our porch to start more or less here. And it needs to step up like that. And then we can step into the building. On the outside of this, we need to have some sort of support to round this off, to close it off in. All right, so we're gonna go a stair and a stair like so. We're gonna do the same on the other side. It doesn't really matter which stairs because I'm kind of trying to maintain some form of texture variation here. Then we're gonna come in and we're gonna grab, say, these, one on the corner one on the corner though this one needs to step down there we go put all of that back we'll get around to why i'm doing that but there's a basic idea of a porch we can now get from here onto that level so we can break in here where our door will be let's come in and grab some more stairs because we do need that door frame that infamous door frame we spoke about in the first episode when we built that one. Right, now we can get in. We have access to the interior and I'm very glad to see that there aren't mobs in here, but it does not have a roof in yet. Floors, we need to add floors. Okay, my friends, it is time for something very important. It is a time so important, in fact, that I need to grab some special shoes because these, these shiny silver boots, nope, they will not do, they will not do. In here, I have some alternatives for us. We can go for the shiny leather ones, they glow. We have some gold to choose from, but there, oh, Curse of Vanishing. You know what, that is absolutely perfect. These glorious, fancy, shiny new boots, they are what we need. They are just what we need. They are exactly what we need. Yes, yes, I forgot something. So we come back. We need a crafting bench. It is also important. And, 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 and. I need two sticks. Two! Very specifically, two. It is now that we have our fancy boots 
our crafting table and our two sticks that we come back down into the mine because friends it is a very special day it is an important day a valuable time we need some diamonds yes we need them now not later not tomorrow not yesterday we need them now so we come in we break some diamonds we break three diamonds but but no that that is not all the diamonds we need we need two more diamonds we need five diamonds only five you sixth diamond you stay I will come and fetch you later you don't go anywhere now we can leave we don't need to be in that area anymore we can come to this area yes yes this area is nice we're going to break that block that exact block no real reason just that one place our crafting bench in there yes I like that spot that is a good spot for it now we take our two sticks we put them in like so we take two of our diamonds and put them down we don't need them we take three of our diamonds and we put them there like that my friends that is a diamond pickaxe that that right there is the beginning of the end amazing I love it it's great diamond pickaxe the reason we need our diamond pickaxe now we need some of this some of this horrible horrible hideous I hate this stuff obsidian hmm. this is going to be torture this is going to take a while so we will break that block yes the first block broken the first block broken yes the first block broken by our diamond pickaxe was stone we're gonna put our water in there and then we need four pieces of obsidian any day now there we go that's one all right we have four let's do that take our water back thank you very much now now yes now we leave but what about the boots why did we need the boots I have absolutely no idea I like the boots I wanted to wear the boots and now that we have that I have also grabbed a book and it is these three items that we require in that order no no not in that order we will come here and we will place our obsidian like that we will place our diamonds like so and we will place our book over there and we get a crafting table yes yes we get a crafting table because it is this that we need to place right there yep indeed on this little pedestal that I have created for it for it and only for it yes now my friends you can see I have floors I have floors I have beams these beams protrude on, on the outside beautiful we can begin with some decorations now I would like to sort out this room at the very least we will do the rest as we go I think we will work our way up floor by floor decorating as we go so we'll start on the ground floor the ground floor by far the most important floor of them all it is here that we will be doing most of our enchanting for the season yes for the series we will be here primarily so we have our enchantment table right here we need a minimum of 15 books arranged around it on the same level as it and one above in any arrangement as long as they are either on the same level as it or one above in these three blocks directly next to it so well one block away one air block I'm doing a terrible job of explaining let me just show you I am going to need some oak blocks because these I think will be my filler blocks here and there we will place them one two three one two three one two three and it is in these three blocks arrangements that we can place them technically we can place them there as well but I do not think that I will I do not have an axe on me I have found my axe and we will break that block at the very least I want to keep this line completely clear we can place some blocks here though not ideal we might do that and we'll place them there yes I like that idea 
We get rid of these. We do not need these blocks underneath. They are temporary. They are placeholders. We will place bookshelves like so. Now, for the rest, I think we will place one there, there, perhaps those two blocks, and those two blocks. Yes, I like that. The rest we fill in with temporary blocks, like so. Now you can see some of the letters and words from our books are flowing in here. It works. It seems we can do... Probably not. I am confused. But we need 15 bookshelves. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 bookshelves. If I can count. I think. I can count. It is 8. It is indeed 8. Now for the rest we shall place some more bookshelves. That is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And we need to place number 15. We'll place 15 there. That is the minimum required, required number of books to be placed around it. Efficiency 4. That is not a bad enchant for a diamond pickaxe. Not gonna lie, not going to lie at all. However, that being said, we now have our bookshelves. However, it does not look great. We now come in, we break out our temporary blocks because I do not want them there. They were placeholders. I don't need them. Not right now. So, as you can see, there are some bookshelves. Uh, it, it doesn't look great, as is. However, I have 25 extra bookshelves, and it is with these bookshelves that we will make it look much better. Yes, yes, it's going to look better than it currently does. I guarantee it. We are going to stack them randomly, as so to try and make this space look a little bit more interesting. I already like that. I like that a little bit, yes. We can place some more there. Hmm, indeed. We can come down. We can place some bookshelves on the very ground as well. Yes, I do not object to that either. We now have a large number of bookshelves. I'm happy. Now we move on to decorating this. Is there a block? Nope, that's a torch. To decorating this further. Does that connect? That does. That makes me sad. That makes me very sad. But it is not the end of the world because we will use chains. Our bookshelves will be suspended from the ceiling, my friends, from these beams above. Occasionally, here and there, we will lower down some chains for them. And I think this will be a grand little look for our enchanting area. Now that we have some ch chains hanging from our ceiling as well, we shall place some lanterns. And we need to ensure that this lantern does not obstruct any of the bookshelves that are on the same level or one above our enchantment table. Because then it, they will still work. They will still feed into it. Every other bookshelf we have in here, purely decorative. Yep, they serve no purpose other than decoration. I think that is kind of cool. Ultimately, at this point, our enchantment area is fully functional. It works. We do not technically need anything else to make it work. Everything else that I'm going to be putting into this Power of ours is purely decorative. We can definitely add a shelf in over here. One can go there. And that, my friends, I think is not a terrible start to our tower. My friends 
has turned into a beautiful little tower on the exterior. We still have a little bit of work to do on the interior, but the exterior, I think, we're pretty much done with. And I'm very, very happy with that. I am so satisfied. I was editing the last couple of clips together just now, just to see how much time we have left in this video, and we have about three or four more minutes left. And I <laughs> stumbled upon the part where I mentioned that we're going to have some gravity-defying components of this tower. And that reminded me that I wanted to do this. Or something similar at the very least. And I think it makes the tower just seem so much more fantastical. And it's brilliant. It came out so, so good. To finish off this episode though, I think we need to come into the interior. I've added a couple of chests in here, and I think these are... Not only do they fill the space a bit better, but they're also going to be of use. So I can put all my lapis, some enchanted books and things in there, and I think that'll work wonderfully. If we go up one level, following our spiral staircase, we come to this room, and halfway up these stairs, we find the bridge to our floating tower. Now this tower, I think, will be our mage's bedroom. And I really like the idea of that. So, let's see what we can do in terms of a bedroom, shall we? That looks pretty decent, I think. A nice cozy little room. He has a very big comfy bed with sides, big headboard, and lots of storage space. Lots of cupboards and dressers and a little desk, tiny little vanity that he can look out over what will eventually become a village. He gets to see everything around him. I like it. This is a very, very nice bedroom. Cupboard, it's kind of a fake, but standing here that looks very realistic. I mean, that looks like a wonderful cupboard. I just... I wish those handles weren't gold. That's very yellow. But next to the chest, I... That probably doesn't doesn't bother too much. Coming out, this is the little bridge. I like the bridge. Yeah, lovely. I've also done this room. It's a very quick, rough, dirty room. This is, in my mind, his study. Our wizard, and this is a wizard's tower after all, naturally will study quite a lot. Now he does have his arcane library down here where he does most of his work and his magic but occasionally he might want to have a space with a bit of a better view that he can come and sit up here maybe walk up and look out through the window see the harbor yeah I like this I like this very much climbing the ladder up at the very top we get to the top of the tower and it is a bit of a watchtower. Here our wizard can stand and he can see everything around him for miles as far as his eyes can see. I like it. Maybe he casts some spells into the night air from out here. Very, very nice. I think this is successful. I've accomplished pretty much what I want to accomplish today, and that is to acquire an enchanting area. A space where I can utilize my levels. And as you can see, just in the course of recording this episode, I've gone up three more levels. I do mine. I mine a lot. So definitely, definitely necessary. And I think it will be in the beginning of the next episode that we utilize all of those levels and see what we can get. But until then, you all know what to do. If you've enjoyed this video, if you've liked it even a little bit, give me that thumbs up button, subscribe for so much more content just like this, and leave me a comment. I appreciate everything you lot can say. Until next time.